You might be wondering if this is a mystery. Is it just a coincidence? It is not a mystery, but a philosophy. Konnichiwa, Yu Sensei desu. If you have just started learning Japanese, you might be intrigued by the fact that the pronunciation of nose and flowers are the same. Hana. Is it just a coincidence? And not only that, other parts of the face also have this similarity with parts of the plants, like eyes and new leaves. They are both pronounced as me. And at this point, you might be wondering if this is a mystery. But I guess it is not a mystery, but a philosophy. From observation, we can say there is a belief of the ancient Japanese people that the mankind and the nature are inseparable friends, the symbiosis with nature. Some examples are the Japanese garden, tea ceremony, the flower arrangement called ikebana, the phrases itadakimasu and gochisou sama, and so on. They are all pretty much themed around the symbiosis with the nature. So I guess in order not to forget the friendship with the nature, we call the parts of the face the metaphors of the parts of the plants. Take a look. Why eyes and new leaves are the same pronunciation? Because they have the same positioning. The nose and flower, they are both pronounced as hana. The nose is located at the center of the face, so is the flower. The two and the leaf are pronounced as ha, because they both fall and turn over new ones. A single mi sound stands for a fruit, and the double mi, which is mimi, refers to ears, probably because listening is fruitful. You cannot really learn anything new through speaking, but you learn a lot through listening. Interestingly, no metaphors of plants is assigned for mouth, kuchi. It's nothing but my sheer conjecture that mouth was not considered something natural by the ancient Japanese people. Mouth utters words, and the words create the society that is a rebellion against the nature. In my opinion, the pronunciation of a word is a reflection of the spirit of the people that speak the language, and the idea is called kotodana, the spirit in the language. By comparing the parts of the face and the parts of the plants, we were able to take a glance of one part of the spirit of Japanese people, the symbiosis with the nature. And if you have liked this topic of Kotodama, I'm happy to make more videos on that in the future. Thanks for watching. Mite kurete. Arigatou gozaimashita.